Hi, and welcome back to the talk. I'm Shruti, and in this talk, I'm discussing cross-lingual entity linking methods for low resource languages. In the first part of the talk, we discuss the task of entity linking and the challenges associated with adapting existing methods to low resource languages. Just to remind you, the entity linking task involves associating an input named entity mention with its corresponding entry in a knowledge base that contains millions of entries. An entity linking system scores the input with respect to each entry in the knowledge base to select the most appropriate one as the entity link. In this part of the talk, I present a method for entity linking in the case where the input mentioned comes from a low resource language and the objective is to cross lingually link it to an English knowledge base. The method called pivot based entity linking does not use any resources in the source language for building the entity linking model. This is in contrast to existing methods, which typically rely on Wikipedia language links in the source language. This method has two main features, which I'll briefly describe here. First, we do zero-shot transfer, where we train the model on a high resource language and then transfer the model to the low resource language without any fine tuning. Next, we present pivoting, where instead of linking the, the entities to English, we link them to a closely related high resource language with the motivation that closely related languages may have similar surface forms of the entity. Like this example we see here between Javanese and Indonesian. First, let's take a look at the entity linking model. The primary goal is to identify the English Wikipedia article that is the most appropriate link for the input entity mention. It is selected based on a scoring function that computes the similarity between the input and the English knowledge base entries. Since we do not have any training data in the source low resource language, we train a model to perform cross-lingual entity linking between some high resource language and English. That is, the model is trained to link input entities in the high resource language to English Wikipedia. The model has two character level LSTMs. One LSTM is trained to encode the input entity mentions from the high resource language, and the other does the same for all the knowledge base entries, which are in English. The encodings from each LSTM are vector representations of the input strings. We calculate the cosine similarity between the two encoded vectors as a metric to assign a score to each entry in the English knowledge base. To train the model, we use parallel entities in the high resource language and English. For high resource languages, such parallel entities are easily available from sources like the Wikipedia language links. For example, one training instance would be the parallel entity names for the entity United States in a high resource language like Indonesian and, and English. Since we're effectively trying to rank the knowledge base entries for linking, we use a max margin objective with negative sampling as the training loss function. This objective function forces the cosine similarity between the input mention and the correct knowledge base entry to be at least a specified margin apart from the score with an incorrect entity link. So when we apply this trained model to an unseen input, the model should ideally assign the highest cosine similarity to the knowledge base entry that is the most appropriate link for the input. To use the model with a low resource language, we use zero shot transfer learning. Consider an input entity in Javanese, which is a relatively low resource language. We simply encode the entity using the LSTM trained on the high resource language. For example, an LSTM that is trained on Indonesian entities. If the high and low resource, if the high resource language used for training is closely related to the low resource test language, the transfer can potentially succeed because named entities often have similar surface forms in related languages. 
Relatedness can be through the same language family like Thai and Lao, or through using the same script like Hindi and Marathi. Javanese and Indonesian are also closely related, and thus the example of zero-shot transfer that we're looking at here is likely to succeed. However, scoring the input mentions with respect to English may not be ideal, as the low resource entities are probably more similar to those in the closely related high resource language we use for training. To take advantage of this, we introduce candidate retrieval of English knowledge base entries through pivoting with data in another language. Instead of directly scoring English entities to find the best link, we calculate a similarity score with entities in a closely related high resource language. To score a specific knowledge base entry through pivoting, we obtain the name of that same entity in a related high resource language. These parallel entities can be obtained pretty easily because bilingual lexicons and Wikipedia language links typically exist in large numbers for most high resource languages. With the entity name in the high resource language, we calculate its similarity to low resource to the low resource input mention as the entity linking score. In this way, we're using the high resource language as an intermediate between the source language and the language of the knowledge base, which is English. For example, we can link input mentions in Javanese to Indonesian entities instead of linking them directly to English. So what does this look like with our trained model? As described earlier, we encode the input mention with the LSTM that is trained on the high resource language using zero shot transfer. We also use the same LSTM to encode the entity that we derive from the parallel language links in the high resource language. And then we simply compute the cosine similarity between the two encoded vectors to get the pivoting similarity score. So our overall method, pivot-based entity linking, attempts to find the highest scoring knowledge base entry by calculating similarity with the English name as well as the parallel high resource language name. So given a mention in a low resource language, first zero shot transfer is used to encode the mention. For a particular knowledge base entry, both the English name and the high resource language name are encoded with their respective BILSTMs. Then two similarity scores are computed. <clears throat> the first is with pivoting through the high resource language, and the second is directly between the encoded mention and the encoded English entity name. We calculate both similarities because in some cases, the input mention might actually be more similar to the English knowledge base entry, or if the corresponding entity name doesn't exist in the high resource language links, pivoting cannot be used. So the final score for a particular knowledge base entry is the maximum similarity score between these two, either directly to English or through pivoting. Finally, we see that although languages might be very closely related, they could use different alphabets or writing systems. In this case, our character level LSTMs won't transfer across the languages. For such cases, we propose converting all the data to the phonological space to train the model using the international phonetic alphabet. This alphabet essentially expresses how the words are pronounced in the language and can be used to represent speech in many languages. This is particularly useful for entity linking because names are often pronounced similarly across languages. For example, Thai and Lao are closely related languages but use different scripts. We can't do zero shot transfer with a character level LSTM in this case. However, if we train and test the model with data that's all converted to the IPA, we see that entities are indeed represented quite similarly in these two languages and zero shot transfer can potentially succeed. For our first set of experiments, we train models on 53 high resource languages that can potentially be used for transfer. <clears throat> 
As test data, we use nine low resource languages, Bengali, Javanese, Lao, Marathi, Punjabi, Telugu, Tigrinya, Ukrainian, and Uyghur. As you can see, all these languages use different scripts and come from several language families from all over the world. The test set contains article titles in the low resource language from Wikipedia. The objective is to accurately identify the corresponding English article title among the millions that exist in the English Wikipedia. All the models are trained on the high resource languages and the data from the low resource language is only used as the test set. For the first few experiments, we look at the top scoring candidate to compute the entity linking accuracy. That is, we look at whether the top scoring candidate is the correct entity link for the input mentioned. Our first baseline is translation based as previous work has used. We see the entity linking accuracy of the method here. It is approximately 15%, indicating that translation methods do not work very well for low resource settings. We also compare to the encoder entity linking model described earlier using only similarity to English without including the pivoting similarity score. For the proposed pivoting method, the first experimental setting involves manually selecting a pivot language based on our prior knowledge of language families and linguistic properties. We see that this method has a much higher accuracy than the two baselines, indicating the utility of pivoting through a higher resource language. Finally, we also attempt to use multiple pivots where we transfer from all 53 potential pivot languages and select the best scoring entity link among all of them. This gives us a small improvement in accuracy. Our previous experiment involved linking Wikipedia article titles, which are arguably easier to link than the named entity mentions present in longer documents. So we also conduct experiments on full documents from news sources, blogs, and Twitter for two low resource Ethiopian languages, Tigrinya and Oromo. We compare to the encoder and translation baselines and use manually selected pivot languages for our method. We use Amharic as a pivot language for Tigrinya and Somali as a pivot language for Oromo. In the figure, we see that although the translation method is supervised with Wikipedia language links from the source low resource language, it doesn't work very well because of the small Wikipedia sizes in these languages. Although the pivoting method results in the best accuracy for both Tigrinya and Oromo, we see that having a closely related pivot language is necessary for good performance. Our method performs much better in the case of Tigrinya because Amharic and Tigrinya are more closely related and have more similar entity forms than we observed in Somali and Oromo. Next, we analyze the utility of the phonological transfer method. In this figure, we see the average entity linking accuracy when the high and low resource languages use the same script, as well as when they use different scripts. Transferring in the original script works better if the languages use the same script, but transferring through IPA is almost as good on average. As expected, transferring through the original script completely fails if the scripts are different. Converting the data to IPA representations leads to much better zero-shot transfer for entity linking in such cases. For some of the languages in our data set, although they are low resource, there is a small amount of data available for training. We combine different amounts of this data with the high resource language data set and train the model on the combined data set to evaluate its effect on entity linking performance. So in the figure, we first see that languages that are closely related share a script and start off with a pretty high accuracy. For such language pairs, there's only a small improvement as we add training samples in the source low resource language. On the other hand, models that rely on the IPA representations for transfer show much more improvement when adding data from the source language. 
Finally, we look at how our method for retrieving candidate lists can potentially help a downstream entity disambiguation system. Candidate retrieval performance is measured in terms of recall. This essentially measures whether the correct entity link is present in the candidate list. If the link is not present in the list, then it cannot be recovered by the downstream disambiguation model. The figure shows the top one recall for the languages in our data set. This basically indicates whether the knowledge base entry assigned the highest score by our model is actually the correct entity link. When we expand the list to include the top five scoring entities, we notice that the recall of the correct link increases for all the languages. We do notice that it doesn't increase too much for languages that already have high accuracy like Javanese and Tigrinya, but the improvement is much more pronounced for languages that don't have a very, top, very high top one recall like Telugu and Ukrainian. A similar trend continues as we increase the size of the candidate list. This graph shows our methods utility as a candidate retrieval system. The downstream disambiguation system typically uses a short list of 50 or 100 candidates selected from the large knowledge base. And our method, in most cases, does have the correct entity link within this list. With that, we conclude the second part of the talk. In this part, we discussed a candidate retrieval method for low resource settings called pivot-based entity linking. Pivot-based entity linking method leverages high resource language data for zero shot transfer, demonstrating significant improvements, both with transferring through the original script and through IPA representations. In the next part of the talk, we examine the errors made by the pivoting method and identify modeling and data modifications that further improve candidate retrieval for low resource languages.